the Spirit of the Most High God, Holy Spirit, it's not the Rory or the Paul or the Katie or the Linda or the, the Corolla. It's, it's not the Holy Ghost. It is Holy Ghost. He is a person. He is the third person of the Godhead. We have the Father, we have the Son, Yeshua, we have the Holy Spirit. See, it's so easy for me to say, the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit is, is more than a substance. As a person, He comes in me. Now, when we read Scripture, we understand that He walks with us in the fullness of the Holy Spirit. How much of Him comes in me? Now, this is my opinion, okay? But as He walks with us, He also indwells us. And He indwells as much of us as we make available to Him. Holy Ghost is the perfect gentleman. He will never uh, violate your or my free will. And so that's why you see the vacillation in many believers yeah, in my life. You know, some days I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm just oozing. I mean, I'm just gentle and kind and peaceful and fun loving and soft word and, and, and I mean just the Holy Spirit is just bubbling in and through me. Always walks with me in His fullness. Always. He is everywhere. He is all powerful, all knowing. Okay, so we understand He is God. But He is my comforter, my counselor. He, and that's why, you know, we're challenged by Jesus never to grieve the Holy Spirit because He's the most it's, it's hard for my me, mere humanity and my li such limited brain capacity to verbalize and to even fully understand, have the full revelation. I don't. I am learning every day about Holy Spirit, Holy Ghost. And, um, but He is the gift from Yeshua. He is the one that was sent when Yeshua ascended to the Father. He said, I will send Holy Ghost, Ruach HaKodesh, and He will teach you. He will remind you what I said. He will remind you of my words. He will comfort you when you need comfort, when you are under attack. He will empower you and strengthen you. He is your joy. He is the spirit of truth, and He will guide you, Rory, into all truth. And so when I say, top me up, Holy Ghost, it's not that, hey, Lord, just a bit more of you in me in a sense, or it's just, you're just a substance, so just top me up. You know, we can, our words can, in, in so many ways, do such poor representation to the extraordinary special relationship that we can have with Holy Spirit, with Holy Ghost. I just wanted to say that as I'm grinding at the grinder here. Um, Every day I walk into the Mustard Seed studio here, and especially now with Good Morning World, it kicks off at 7 a.m. every morning. If you haven't caught it yet, dear patron, catch it. All those of you listening on the podcast, there's more than just Daily Grind. Daily Grind is kind of the prayer chamber behind and the super spiritual focus behind. It's where I'm praying in the Holy Ghost, whereas in Good Morning World, I'm really just reaching out. It's Good Morning it's Good Morning World. So you could say Daily Grind, Good Morning God, Good Morning World, Good Morning World. So I need to pray in the Holy Spirit. I need His guidance, His counseling. I need, I need the program for the next day and the next day and the next day. Lord, what, what am I to share? What do you want me to share on Good Morning World to be an encouragement to the viewer? That is my sole purpose for Good Morning World is to be an encourager, to encourage, to, and also in, in the times to come, in, you know, when we hit the 40 days, the 24th of May, I'm hoping that I will have raised the finance I need. So please pray the Lord opens the doors of opportunity. I know He has prepared each guy and girl who will walk with me in this journey, whether it's just for a short season or whether it's for the long haul. Uh, we call it crowdfunding in the media world, and it happens everywhere, whether it's Kickstarter or whether it's Patreon, or you know, people who come alongside and understand your vision and support you in the short run until things 
take off. And Good Morning World will be funded by advertising. It will be funded by sponsorship. Uh, people will be able to purchase from the Good Morning World shop when it launches, which it will. It takes a little while because there's only one of me at the moment and I need a lot more support. And money buys support. I'm talking about work power, team power. It's unfair to expect any guys or girls who are talented in, in, in what we need for Good Morning World to not be paid. A workman and a workwoman is worthy of their hire. Amen? Sure. So, I'm just sharing all of this because it's right now happening. So, when you're praying in the Holy Spirit and when you are... I, I think sometimes we as believers... And I'll finish on this note. I think sometimes we as believers don't realize how important He is in our daily walk. Without Holy Spirit, we cannot walk a victorious life. We need as much of Him as we can get in us. And that's why Paul says, less of me, more of, more of Him. Less of me, less of me, more of Him. Less of me. That's why we are called, in a sense, to put our flesh to death day by day. And clean ourselves out as a vessel so we can hold more of Holy Ghost. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. I'll be back on Daily Grind tomorrow morning to continue praying for a few moments. Now I will do so before I work on the next Good Morning World program. But um, I'll be back with you guys on Daily Grind tomorrow morning, same time, same place, morning, noon or night, depending on when you watch. And thank you again for your support. I really do appreciate it. Amen. Love you guys. Ciao.